Okay. Do you want do you want to just go into episode four? Because that's that's pretty much everything in episode three. Yeah. So, so we're back <clears throat> where we started. Mm-hmm. Except now she's uh, Leia's not in some random like uh, drug town or whatever. You know, like yeah. cr- crime love crime world. <laughs> like, all, all right. So can I? I'll just say right now mm-hmm. that episode four of Kenobi is has a a billion parallels to episode four a new hope yeah it's like it's like the same thing almost it's not quite but it it reminds me a little bit of how episode seven Mm -hmm. uh the force awakens is like episode four a new hope Mm -hmm. okay you know where where it's like everyone they start on the desert planet and you know like the the you know orphaned force user goes to find a mystic you know to learn the force and you know gets confronted by stormtroopers and all, all this i mean you, you can just go and go and go and go and go mm-hmm. seven uh episode seven with with ray yeah it is is like a, a so similar to episode four but in this case they do different things but there's a lot of really fun little parallels mm-hmm. um I really enjoyed how this episode started with with Rio trying to basically interrogate Leia um, and find out where where Kenobi had gone and what, what this path basically that she had been hearing about. Um, but I just really enjoyed that Leia wasn't going to budge. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. So, so this is the, this is the this is the first parallel here Mm -hmm. um so leia in episode four is captured by the empire yeah and is is uh threatened and you know they they try everything to get her to reveal the location of the hidden rebel base Mm -hmm. yeah and she won't do it yeah and she's just like you know what I, i actually really loved how tricky she was She's like, okay, I just don't want anyone to get in trouble. And Reva gives this super disingenuous, you know, I promise. Yeah. And she's like, okay, I just have to tell my dad first because we're all on the same side, like you just said, right? Yeah. <laughs> and there's this like real like, like as a parent, like when your kid has has like this clever moment mm-hmm. of just like thwarting your own words, like using your own words against you, you're like, ah, like you just. <laughs> and, and Reva did that. I was like, yes, oh. like she did the weird little like paw grab, mm-hmm. like almost, you know, like, oh, yes, okay, that was clever, but. Ugh. But no, nice yeah. try. Right. Yeah, it's yeah. not, it's not going to happen for you. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then like, this this episode was a lot though, because so you, you have this happening and while this is happening, Tala and. Mm-hmm. So Tyler's trying to, they're trying to heal Kenobi. He's in the back of the tank and, you know, freaking out. Um, yeah. But then they're also trying to, once they calm him down, get all of this, you know, tell him where Leia is and everything. <coughs> they're trying to sneak in now. There's this really dumb moment, honestly, where there's like the guy, he's like one of the rebel guys or whatever. He's mm-hmm. like, no, I won't help you. It's not my problem. No, I won't help you. No, mm-hmm. no, I won't. No, I won't. No, I won't. Okay, yeah, I'm your man. Yeah, we'll do it. <laughs> like, I I did laugh though when so he's like doing this and they're like, no, no, like we need your help. We need your help. Like mm-hmm. blah blah blah. And he's like, yeah, you and every kid who can float a rock from here to wherever. And I right, was just like, yeah. huh, oh, man, he just is so. It's just so off the cuff. Like it's great. No, it. I liked. I liked his demeanor. I just. I wanted it. It had no payoff, really. It was just like, no, I won't do it for approximately ninety percent of the time, mm-hmm. and then for no apparent reason, he switches. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so now they're trying to sneak into wherever the Inquisitors are with Leia, and yeah. and go get her. Yeah. Okay. So. So yeah, they. Um, they have to sneak into uh, uh, you know, an impenetrable mm-hmm. imperial fortress. Right. To rescue Princess Leia. Right. 
Which, I mean, the... the <laughs> I guess that's the second. Is that is that your second... Uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking like for? Like parallel? Yeah. I, I guess. I mean, yeah. I, yes, that's that's a parallel for sure. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's not, not in particular order. But yeah, like she's... She's being held by Imperials <clears throat> to fight <clears throat> against, excuse me, the the, the hidden rebel base, you know, to divulge the, the information. And she's not letting him do it. She's being saucy and sassy and everything, you know. Mm-hmm. Like in episode four, Governor Tarkin. I'm surprised I didn't, uh, you know, recognize your foul stench when I was brought on board, mm-hmm. you know. She's being her usual saucy self. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, yeah, and, and Kenobi has to go in there to rescue her. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but it, they achieve it a little differently. Tala goes in, and they're like, "We need." So another another small parallel. I need to see some identification, you know. But then you, you think she's going to use the force and say like, "You don't need to see my identification." Mm-hmm. But that's actually. But she didn't have old Ben with her to do that. So. I did actually think she was going to use the force though, but then, or something like. Right. But then she's just like, gets through with, with uh, belligerence, which I thought was great. Yeah. So she, she's really handy in this. uh, I mean, obviously handy, but she's really good at this role and she's obviously very important to making this plan happen. Right. No, I mean, she's, uh, I okay so we know I mean this job this show does a really good job of making me worried about the outcome Mm -hmm. even though I know that old Ben is going to be in this you know in episode four Leia is going to be safe and fine in you know she's going to be in rebels eventually in a couple years she's gonna right she's going to be you know there's all this all this all this material about her we know we know the trajectory of her, of her life, but at the same time, I'm like, oh, don't torture her, don't mess with her, like, don't, you know, I feel very protective of her. Yeah. Um, but but I also, I I also I'm like, I don't know what happens to Tala. Like, don't kill yeah. Tala. I like her. That's the thing, right? Like, you know exactly that. You know, old Ben is gonna survive. You know, Leia will be okay. But like, mm-hmm. what about Tala? And we like her. Yeah. She's no mole man. I want her to hook up with Kenobi. (laughs) Just saying. (laughs) Oh, man. Um, So I will say, so while this is happening, they're sneaking in. So they're trying to to find Leia. Mm -hmm. And then they just like, so while this is happening, Reva's like, okay, like Leia is being a little saucy, clever thing. Let's just try and and get this out of you some more and takes her to some other room to like bind her or whatever they're doing and essentially torture her i was like this got dark real quick oh i know i know i i just got the sense that reva had had it all happen to her right and so she's like following the steps of inevitability like she just feels like this is the trajectory. I like she's, she's mm, okay. You know, she's like, this happened to me. It's going to have to happen to you too, Leia. Like she, cause you can tell she, on some level she likes and admires Leia actually. Right. Okay. That's a good, I like looking at it that way. It makes her feel less terrifying. <laughs> right. Well, you have to wonder. Okay. So they, they say that these inquisitors used to all be Jedi or maybe mm-hmm. not all, but like, they for the most a lot of them are jedi you have to wonder like how how many how many people would just willingly turn to the dark side especially if they were actual jedi who have momentum in doing the right thing like the majority of jedi would just tell him to kick rocks right right And, and i guess maybe they just took the few who decided not to but you have to think how much of their of of their like conversion to the dark side was coerced right. was like forced like if if you if you treat i mean there there's all sorts of awful so you know like uh experiments that have been done psychological experiments that have been done 
uh, by by pretty sketchy people in the past. But it's like if you treat someone bad enough for long enough and they don't have any light in their lives, kind of mm-hmm. like they'll eventually turn bad. Right. Right. Yeah, exactly. You know, so uh, how much of it was. Right. Was them just breaking. Right. I mean, maybe Vader has 13 Merdrill <laughs> to, <laughs> to oh. force to force, uh, you know, <laughs> oh man i'm sorry i'm uh i'm blending i'm blending You're... the books with the the, the wheel of time uh, books sorry. i mean maybe he does but yeah and he has a bunch of black sisters to help now um so anyways like it, you have to think maybe maybe she was that little that padawan who mm-hmm. escaped in order 66 yeah and Maybe, you know, like maybe they did, maybe they captured her or like they just grabbed her. I, I bet there'll be another flashback actually. Yeah. To what happens to those Padawans. I would hope so because what, like, it wasn't necessary to start with that, with that scene. You didn't have to. Right. I, I think, I think the big reveal in this, ep- in this season is going to be what, what the deal with Reva is. Yeah. She's um, very clearly an important character. Yeah. Uh, I did find it interesting though when Kenobi was like, I don't know, whatever part of it of this fortress he was in, and he's like, "This is a mm-hmm. tomb," or like, "Oh, it's a crypt." Yeah, yeah. it's uh, I was like that is creepy. Yeah, so I I actually looked. I, I was reading a couple reviews because I I thought I was like I feel like I should recognize some of these Jedi, and I, I yeah. didn't. Yeah, I thought that too, and... and I was like, "Oh, I don't I recognize these people." I think that there was one Jedi Master that was named. Oh, was it the was it the first one that they showed? Was it that old Jedi that like trained Ahsoka for a while in the Clone Wars? Like he was like old and slow, but was still you know like taught her that Maybe. being persistent. I, I don't know. And anyways, like so there was. There was one that was like, okay, may- maybe that's who it's supposed to be. But for the most part, as as far as I can tell, I mean, I only re- watched a couple or read a couple reviews. So may- maybe I was just looking in the wrong place, but I didn't recognize any of them. Okay. And and I'm if, if I don't recognize them, I guess uh, and I'm not the very pinnacle of Star Wars lore knowledge. I, I would say I've consumed more Star Wars things than... 99% of even Star Wars fans. Right. Like, uh, so I think everyone gets a pass. If, if I didn't recognize them, everyone else gets a pass. Yeah. But it was eerie. Oh, it was very creepy. I just felt like, like yeah, you have to think, put, put yourself in Kenobi's shoes of like, he probably knew a bunch of them. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh man. man. It was, well, it was such a, uh, I'll tell you what, like all of them were like, okay, but, I guess it's they're kind of like trophies in a way. But the one that made me so sad was one of the younglings. He still had his little helmet on. Yeah. It's just like why that was that was extreme. Yeah. Yeah. So before he gets to that area though, I do want to point out mm-hmm. that so so Kenobi is in a spot like he's creeping through the corridors. He has to hide from stormtroopers. Mm-hmm. Stormtroopers, you know, th- wonder where he is. And, and like he can't get out, and so he uses the force to like make a noise down the corridor, and they go down the corridor. Mm-hmm. They're distracted by it, which is a direct parallel to what he was doing in episode four, A New Hope, mm-hmm. when he's disabling the tractor beam, and he needs to escape from two stormtroopers who are you know like patrolling there. He uses a sound to distract them so he can get away. Right. And, and uh, meanwhile, like he's talking to Tala, that uh, Tala's, you know, like killing random Imperial uh, officers in the background and stuff. She leaves her comm link on the counter. Yeah. Just like in A New Hope when uh, Luke is calling to, he's like trying to call 3PO. He's like, where could he be? Like my, my support staff, like my support person mm-hmm. who I need, I need to help. I need guidance here has abandoned their comm link. On a counter. Yeah. And it's the same exact looking com link. So anyways, more more episode four parallels. They're, we're not done with them yet. <laughs> There's more to come. Awesome. 
there are. Oh. <laughs> you don't sound like you think it's awesome. <laughs> no, no, I do. I just, uh, uh, you, you are the one that would be able to pick these out a lot better than me. So. Well, I mean, gosh. Yeah, I've, I don't have a good memory, but you have to, you have to think <laughs> if you've watched a movie a million times, you're going to remember most of it. It's burned Anyways. in there. That's, that's probably why. <laughs> I have a bad memory is because I just literally have I've downloaded all Star Wars material yeah. into my brain. There's no <laughs> for anything else. Everything else is gone. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um. Okay. So <clears throat> when he is in this like tomb looking thing, I think it's when he's in this like crypt area. Right. And here's like a scream. I know. Uh, is it? Yeah, in so this, is it in this area or is it? Yeah. 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 So it's like it's like he's going into the interrogation chamber. Which can I just point out, like that this fortress of inquisitors, like who decided to build it where it was? Right. Like, so you have this massive pyramid thing that's like mostly submerged in the ocean, and you decide to just like, I mean, so you're underwater, and that the interrogation chamber is massive. It is so, and it's like. Mostly, if, if something's underwater, you'd think that you'd have a lot of really efficient use for all the space because it's an, it's own, you would only build it if it's necessary. Mm-hmm. And yeah, it's like, yeah, we've, we've got room. Like, we only set up one table to torture people, but we, we could fit like good good dozen people in here to torture them if we wanted to. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's, it's weird. Yeah. So... I mean, I guess that's part of the part of the whole like lore of it is it needs to look more menacing and grand, maybe. I don't know. Well, I will say that it adds an element of hopelessness if you're just like, uh, I mean, it would it would feel the same if you were on a ship like like the Death Star or something where you're like, uh, even if I escape, where do I even go? Right. so maybe it's it's also one of those things where you're just less likely to try to escape. I mean, I think it would let, lend a level of helplessness of like just in inevitability of your situation of like, well, mm-hmm. well, and not to mention like who's going to find you in a place like that. Right. It's so remote. Like you just see like stingrays and stuff out in the middle of the water. Water. Yeah, I, I did like the aesthetic. I feel like it was real impractical for reasons we'll talk about in a little bit. But, mm-hmm. um, but yeah, it's uh, it was it's a cool location for sure. Mm-hmm. Just it just seems kind of like why what why are you why is this here? Mm-hmm. Um. Okay, so. Mm-hmm. What did you think of Kenobi running into this, like, interrogation chamber after he hears Leia or his entrance to it, I guess? Yeah, so there's, like, this weird little... I didn't buy this that much. Honestly, it was just kind of weird. So Mm -hmm. there's a sequence where Tala... Uh, he's like i need a distraction and so she she's awesome she's like all right i'm just gonna put myself in enormous personal risk here yeah and she shows herself like she's pretty good at bullshitting oh i don't know if we're supposed to say that um (laughs) (laughs) well too late yeah um so she she's good she's good at it though like you know she she is able to lure reva Mm-hmm. away and Riva bought it so that that also makes me think like Riva didn't really want to actually torture Leia she just was following the steps that she thought needed to happen right um she lets herself be drawn away by Tala and Tala's you know is, is like caught but then there's a, the alarm mm-hmm. and then uh, you know like because they they've seen Kenobi right and, and whatnot uh and then okay so Riva's like you know, take her and she runs off. And then Tala kills the two stormtroopers there, mm-hmm. but there's no Imperial officer there that was like seconds ago was was there. He's just gone. She's just gone. Yeah. There was a, a female Imperial officer mm-hmm. who should should have been relevant to that whole her whole escape. And it is funny, like she just like kind of pushes them a little and it's like her escape from the stormtroopers is is uh 
continuity error, maybe? Uh, it's fine. On a, I was fine with it. It's just a funny thing. Like, mm -hmm. where, where'd, the, where'd the other officer go? She just, the scene didn't require it. So I guess, <laughs> like, she had too much screen time and they just had to cut her oh. from it. <laughs> well, whatever. But okay, so back to what you were asking. Mm -hmm. though. So, Reva, so Kenobi is there in the interrogation chamber. What, what did you think? I thought it was cool. Yeah. I was real. I mean, this goes back to what you were saying earlier. Like he's been leaning on his blaster and now he's mm -hmm. reaching for that lightsaber more. Yeah. Um, it, it actually startled me the first when he mm -hmm. opened his, he turned it on. I was like, <gasps> whoa, uh, like not, not just like that it had a lightsaber, like it actually just the physical sound kind of. Yeah. you. I wasn't expecting it. I was expecting him to still be more like sneaking. And then mm -hmm. he's just like, nah, I'm here. Yeah, I, I was watching my boys today, actually. Mm -hmm. I knew that it was coming up. And they both went, like, they both did that kind of hopped <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> they weren't expecting it. They, they both flinched, yeah. yeah. It, was, it was fun. But... <laughs> um, yeah, no, I really liked this scene. It was, it's, it was refreshing because it felt like he was going more back into the Kenobi that we've seen in the prequels. And also in, like episode four and stuff yeah like he's shaking off this rust and falling back into it mm -hmm. he's getting his groove back yeah oh well there's a scene like really soon after this actually so that that is so so perfect actually so so there's this so uh, uh it was it was really nice though he goes and rescues leia and she's just like big eyed like yeah. you are you're alive you rescued me yes mm -hmm. like like, he was her hero in that moment. Yeah, you know? he was. You know, like, she she has her dad, and she, and he's awesome. I'm sure she's still... But but in that moment, she's just, like, you know, she's just so excited. Her <laughs> hero's here, you know. Mm -hmm. I agree. Yeah, it was a really touching moment. Uh, so, yeah, they're, they're traversing this hallway, and, you know, stormtroopers are coming, and it's like he's deflecting some of the bolts, and he's, like remembers he can start to deflect he can actually direct his deflective bolts at the stormtroopers mm -hmm. and there's this moment where he deflects like them at this at like the stormtroopers both die from his deflection and then he like spins his lightsaber like like you know it's just and it's like he's back yep he's back, he's back. <laughs> Oh, it's, it's so cool. It's good though. Like this is this is where you wanted to see him go. Like this is why you had to see him at the start of this series so mm -hmm. dejected and broken. Yeah, like you know, I wouldn't know if someone had been like, "Oh yeah, he's gonna be this pathetic all six episodes." You don't want to watch and, you know, that. And, yeah, I'd be like, I don't have, I don't have time for this. Like, yeah. Just watch some awesome hero guy just uh, be depressed for six episodes. No, thanks. No, no, exactly. You're you're going to want to watch. If you know that he's going to start like that, then you're like, okay, well, we know he's going to get back mm -hmm. to what he was. What's going on? You want to see yep. that. That's way more yeah. interesting, too. It is. So he's back. He's back. And then so that they're continuing to escape, keep fighting stormtroopers and the big squad of stormtroopers comes up. Someone shoots a blaster and he deflects it just randomly into the wall, which happens to be like the, yeah. you know, like the window. And it's like, so you, you're telling me you have an entire facility full of, of stormtroopers, incompetent <laughs> stormtroopers with blasters. Who miss. Right. Like, okay. So if, if they all have blasters, you, you think that, there's a reasonable, like, there's a reason that they all have blasters. There's a reasonable expectation of using them. Mm -hmm. And your walls can just be, like, your entire facility. They, they later, they're like, he almost destroyed the whole thing. You know, the whole fortress. And, and it's like, it's one blaster shot was what that was. Why even have glass walls? I know, like. Like, what? what's the point? It looks cool. Like I love the aesthetic, but right. the, like that's not practical by any stretch. No, no. <laughs> oh man! But and it just created. I mean, it was it was a cool scene though because it created this this 
little bit of extra chaos. Yeah. Yeah, it was cool. Mm -hmm. So, and we got to see more, more Kenobi getting back into his usual ways. Yeah, he's, he's using the force to hold back an entire ocean mm -hmm. of pressure. And yeah. then bol bolt it, right? Like, he's yeah. like, okay, we gotta, they gotta run out of there once he lets mm -hmm. go of it. Yeah. Yeah, it was cool. Mm -hmm. And then, like, they never explain, like, how... Okay, so so clearly they're underwater, mm -hmm. and they have to escape what it, uh, from, like, the flight decks, which are above water. Right. And if there are people who are trying to escape, you would think that... Like, they never show stairs or mm -hmm. elevators. They just, like, the next scene, they're magically transported to the top layer. Right. The top level. They just got up there. And, yeah. like, would, <laughs> would, I don't know, wouldn't more people be aware of the fact that there was a blaster blown into the glass wall? Right. Right, well, yeah, like, everyone on top is just, like, do-do-do, just hanging out, mm -hmm. doing our, doing our doing like the imperial shuffle because like what what how is there so much bustle up top what what are they even doing there's no offices there like, <laughs> and and no one's even going down the the little like the restricted elevator thing mm -hmm. like what are the what are all those people doing there they're just just chilling dog <laughs> i um oh man i i I did like, though, that they got up to the flight decks and, like, they just meet up with Tala mm -hmm. and keep going. And um, once Reva gets there, she just calls Tala out and is like, oh, like, this is what you're going to you're going to betray us for kind of thing. And there was just it was such a good moment, I thought, between her and Tala because she's like, is this worth it? Like, you're giving up who you are or betraying who you are or whatever. Mm -hmm. and she's like, this is not who I was ever like wasn't even a a glimpse yeah. of it and it was just so well done because you can tell it really highlighted for me that there obviously are people who are like freck and are like yeah i'll i'll do this for the empire and like this is who i am for the empire and mm -hmm. it, it was awesome to see that that's not the case for everybody which we know that that's the case, but it's really great to see it in that contrast between her and Reva. Yeah, I agree. I think that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. It's pretty neat. It's pretty neat. Yeah, it doesn't suck. <laughs> no, um, I, I like... I mean, I wonder if that's going to be part of, like, the... Um, like, Reva redemption... Mm -hmm story if that actually happens right i don't know i feel like they kind of have to go that way now that you mentioned it yeah like i think tala and reva are probably gonna just die unfortunately hmm. and probably the the weird yellow inquisitor hmm. girl hmm. so I, I i will say that it was disappointing to me i really was hope i was really hoping this i wanted I, what i wanted was like a, I wanted it to be a video game. I wanted Kenobi to like start really low, and it's like okay, like he's he like doesn't remember how much it hurts his hand to punch someone, right? You know, like that. That's what happens in episode in the second one. Um, and then, you know, but but he, you know, he he gets he gets through it, and then in the third one, he fights Vader and is found completely lacking. Mm -hmm. And then in the fourth one, he is he, he has gained some skills, but why can't he have like a minor boss? Like why can't he kill that yellow right. inquisitor? You, you know, you wanted something more for him. Well, because you have to think it's building to episode six, him actually having a meaningful fight with Vader. Right. Yeah, you have to think that it's going that way. Right. It it would be a little disappointing if not, I guess. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. I agree. But at the same time, it's like, okay, so he has to fight him. He has to fight Reva. He has to fight, like, Reva spends a lot of time running toward Kenobi and never getting to him. Mm -hmm. Like, in episode, in the second episode, she's, like, doing her, her little, like, Matrix 
running on the yeah. on the roofs and she you know in episode three she's you know like chasing him down the tunnel she thinks um and then in episode four now she runs across the entire hangar bay but she can't get to him in time mm-hmm. yeah yeah because then you've got these i guess rebel rebel pilots yeah yeah well they were they're the guys who were like oh well we're not we're not soldiers yeah yeah, that come in and yeah, they're flying the T forty sevens, the the snow speeders, right? B- before they're snow speeders, yeah, yeah, before they've been modified. Yeah, they lay waste to the imperial side. Mm-hmm. It's cool. Mm-hmm. Um, who's like? It was just so funny. So all this happens. They lay waste to them, but they get uh, they get Kenobi and Leia and and, and Tala, mm-hmm. um, and. Then, uh, oh man, I'm blanking. Third sister, Reva uses, she obviously uses the force and throws whatever it was at one of those snow speeders. Mm-hmm. Um, and it ends up killing this one pilot, Wade. And you're just, you just hear this other one. She's like, no, Wade, Wade. And I'm like, who's Wade? <laughs> like, right. Well, do we really well, this... care that much about Wade? No, <laughs> no. I, I forgot his name. I was going to say Frank. <laughs> but yeah, but something's happened on my computer. Okay. Uh, so, so, yeah, like Frank, uh, whatever. He actually, you, he does speak up at their little briefing. They're like, yeah. They're like, shut up, Wade, or something like that. Like, there was like this little, but yeah, uh, I mean, it does, it's not meaningful to us, but you have to think it's it's significant to this little group of, you know, like, they're gonna they're if they're not rebels exactly like they're certainly you know anti-empire they're they're jedi sympathizers right right yeah so it's uh i don't know i it just made me laugh but um okay so (laughs) someone sacrifices their life to save princess leia and a jedi Uh (laughs) yeah and i laugh it's funny yeah accurate um which sister are you? <laughs> Can't tell you. Uh, there is the scene though when they're on they're on the ship after they're escaping, where mm-hmm. I man, it is just so heartwarming, and it goes back to what you were saying with you know Kenobi comes in and he's rescuing Leia and she's all like wide eyed looking at him and like he's mm-hmm. her her hero, and she's just trying to to comfort him a little bit and just you know. Mm-hmm puts her hand on his and yeah it was pretty pretty adorable considering she's so sassy all it the was. time so it was um i i will say that so i i loved it and i don't want it to go away i do think that it it, it a little steals away from the canon in episode four of where she mm-hmm. she sends a message to kenobi you know like help me obi-wan kenobi you're my only hope mm-hmm. but the initial part of it was um you served with my father in the Clone Wars. It's not, you saved me from the Fortress of the Inquisitors right. when I was 10, right. you know? Like, I don't want it to go away, though. It was, it's very touching. It it's is. really cute. It is. So, um, anyway, obviously they're escaping, and during this whole thing, though, very important mm-hmm. little fact is Vader is quite mad, because it's like I'm... Mm-hmm. An old man and a little girl have escaped. Um, yeah. And I I legitimately was like, oh, he's going to kill third sister here. Like, he's mad. She, She's going to die. And he, she's like, no, no, no. Ah, there's a tracker with them. Yep. Which, again, this goes back to her being clever. Like, yeah. she knows what she's dealing with. Mm-hmm. So. Well, she, she suspect Like, you have to think. She suspected that Obi Wan would be skilled enough to get into the Inquisition Palace mm-hmm. or fortress or whatever and out with Leia in order to do this. Right, and as- because Leia had to have Lola like before she was tortured, she had to have Lola with her again. Right, exactly. So she knew like this was this was basically a backup measure for her to have some kind of safety. Yeah. So uh, th- this is the final parallel mm-hmm. of in episode four, 
uh, like they fight the TIE fighters off. They escape from the Death Star. Mm-hmm. And Leia says, it's too easy. Like they let us, they're tracking us. They let us escape. Mm. You know, and Han's like, not this ship, sister. She's like, well, I just hope we could actually blow the Death Star up. You know, I hope we have the information to blow it up because otherwise we're screwed. Mm-hmm. But but they're they're going, I mean, the Imperials let the rebels go, mm-hmm. including Princess Leia, in order to find their hidden rebel base mm-hmm. and Leia so that they could have the full the whole prize. The whole thing. Yeah. And they're tracking them. Yeah. It's uh this is episode four. Yeah. So, oh man, there's only two left. I, I know that was the first thing I thought of when this was over. I'm like, there's only two left. Oh, one thing I noticed though, mm-hmm. this is the first episode that he doesn't try to talk to Qui Gon. Mm. Good point. Good yeah. point. So it, it's it's like maybe he'll be able to talk to Qui Gon when that's not like his number one like yeah hope in life kind of yeah it's not at the forefront and his top priority or whatever yeah oh man okay so what do you think do you think we see the flashbacks i know you said you think we'll see another flashback do you think we see that in episode five i don't i, I just i don't know what they're gonna do i don't know what they're gonna do either because only two more uh, yeah like uh, th- there's got to be some big emotional scenes or this this show doesn't you know like there has to be i don't know i don't, we don't have to see kenobi fighting vader mm-hmm. but uh, i mean I, I think it's possible that reva has her big moment with kenobi instead mm-hmm. I, th- I think we they built it up too much i think people would be too pissed if there wasn't actually another fight with between kenobi and vader but at the same time, how do you, in the same episode, have a big confrontation with Reva and have that be emotionally impactful and then also have this, you know, have it with Vader as well? Right. Yeah. You, I feel like you need to split them up a bit. Yeah. So may, maybe episode five is where Reva has her flare out moment. You know, she's, mm-hmm. she's, you know, has her thing and then she's gone man it's gonna be good maybe hopefully i hope so hope i hope so um any other final thoughts on it i mean i probably could talk all day about it but i think i think i'm good all right i think i'm good too it's i'm i am enjoying it me too i think it's good Mm -hmm. excited for episode five yes which will be I guess in less than a week. You'll watch that uh, while you're on vacation. Yes. So we'll we'll record while I'm on vacation. We'll make time. It's important. Yeah. (laughs) It is. Awesome. Okay. So on that note, um, thank you everybody for listening and or watching on our lovely YouTube channel. May you always find water and shade.